comedy is the ultimate form of free speech. Comedian Dennis Leary said that, and he is absolutely right. The most important comedians of the past few decades have changed the culture by forcing us to face our flaws with laughter. George Carlin, Lenny Bruce, Chris Rock, and Richard Pryor, all of them have helped us to see society's sins and hypocrisies the way no other artist can. And like any great artist, sometimes their work makes us feel uncomfortable, but we have always accepted it because we know they have made us change for the better. And then Twitter came along with a mob of users who exist to be outraged. So when the great comedians of our day continued to test the boundaries of free speech, the woke crowd on Twitter was there to try and shut them down. Woke comes from an African-American poem that asks us all to stay woke to the injustices in society, especially racism. But it's been misinterpreted, misused, and maligned by the millennials who believe it means you should be offended by everything. Old School with Will Ferrell is one of the best comedies of the past 25 years. They say it can puncture the skin of a rhino from a... Oh. <coughs> yes! So is The Hangover. I mean, how, how does a tiger get in the bathroom? He almost killed me. Hey, bro, you mind putting on some pants? I find it a little weird I have to ask twice. Those movies could not survive the millennial meat grinder that is Twitter. And Todd Phillips, the director of those movies, knows that. That's why he's refusing to make any more comedies. So Todd Phillips is now directing the dark and violent comic book movie, Joker. He told Vanity Fair he had to move on because go try and be funny with the woke culture. He said a lot of funny people in Hollywood don't want to make comedies anymore because they're afraid they're going to offend someone. That's because offending anyone could end your career. The comedy landscape is littered with comics who lost big gigs or careers because the Twitter mob found them offensive. Recently, Saturday Night Live announced that they fired new cast member Shane Gillis before he even started because someone found that he used Asian slurs in a comedy podcast last year. And because of that kind of hypersensitivity, a long list of comics are refusing to play college campuses for fear that a woke millennial will get offended and run to Twitter. Comics as diverse as Chris Rock, Larry the Cable Guy, even Jerry Seinfeld. Seinfeld is on the Mount Rushmore of comics. He is notoriously clean, he is apolitical, and even he is afraid of the woke crowd. Seinfeld talked about the assault on comedy during an appearance on late night TV. There's a creepy PC thing out there that really bothers me. Seinfeld is the first but now there is an army of comedians who would rather fight than retreat. We're not running for office. When is this gonna end? Yeah. Is it you millennials? You're a bunch of rats. All of them. <laughs> that was comedian Bill Burr. He and other comedians like Dave Chappelle are taking the millennials head on. In Chappelle's current Netflix comedy special, he takes direct aim at millennials, and that triggered instant outrage on Twitter. The Twitter mob wants him fired by Netflix, but here is proof that Twitter does not represent America because the special got a 99% audience approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Also, Netflix has spent $60 million to buy five Chappelle specials so they're not going anywhere, and the war is on. Here's hoping that comedy wins over the woke crowd and political correctness, because the way things are in the country right now, we could use all of the laughter and self-reflection we can get. I'm Larry Menti. We'll talk again soon.